As time goes on, chronic hives, also known as chronic idiopathic urticaria, CIU, or chronic spontaneous urticaria, CSU, typically resolve on their own. While there is no specific medication to cure them, there are treatments available to help alleviate the pain and discomfort associated with chronic hives. It's important to discuss the following options with your doctor. Antihistamines. Corticosteroids. Omalizumab. Cyclosporin. Montelicast. Histamine is a chemical in the skin that can cause allergy symptoms like hives. There are different forms of medications that can help with chronic hives. Non-drowsy, over-the-counter options like cetirizine, Zyrtec, fexofenadine, Allegra, and loratadine, Claritin, are a good place to start. They won't make you sleepy and may only cause mild side effects like dry mouth and eyes. It's important to take these every day, not just when you have a breakout. Nighttime, if your hives are severe, your doctor may recommend diphenhydramine, Benadryl, or a similar medicine to be taken at night because it can make you drowsy. H2 blockers, your doctor may suggest taking more than one type of antihistamine at a time for your hives. Medicines like cimetidine, tagamet, or famotidine, pepsid, can be used together with other treatments. These drugs may also cause side effects like diarrhea, dizziness, and headaches, but they can help calm redness by narrowing blood vessels. If antihistamines don't work, your doctor might prescribe a corticosteroid. These drugs help to calm the immune system, which can lessen the severity of your hives. Corticosteroids can be taken as a shot or a pill, but they can come with some side effects such as high blood pressure, weight gain, sleep problems, bone density issues, blurred vision, frequent urination, increased thirst, fluid retention, and potential psychological effects. Because of these potential side effects, doctors typically prescribe corticosteroids at low doses and for short periods of time. If you take them for a long time, you could experience additional side effects including cataracts, high blood sugar, increased risk of infection, osteoporosis, and easy bruising. Chronic hives can be tough to treat, especially if there's an underlying cause like a thyroid issue. Sometimes, though, the cause of your reaction can't be found. If antihistamines and steroids don't do the trick, your doctor might suggest other treatments. Asthma medications like Montelicast, Singulair, or Zafirlocust, Accolate, could help with hives, especially those caused by aspirin or NSAIDs. Keep in mind, these medications may have side effects, so be sure to talk to your doctor. Omalizumab, Zolaire, is an option for those who don't find relief from antihistamines. It's administered through injections and may help block a different chemical in your immune system that contributes to hives. This medication also comes with potential side effects, such as headaches, upset stomach, and a rare severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. If these drugs aren't effective, your doctor may consider anti-inflammatory medications or an immunosuppressant to control your immune system. Remember, you and your doctor can work together to figure out the best treatment plan for your chronic hives.